it's Loren Lioness, and today I'm going to be doing this look for you. I actually filmed this last week, but then saw the footage and it came out blurry. But I like the look so much, even though you guys know I don't like pink, um, that I was like I had to refilm it. So, I refilmed it today for you. Hopefully everything turns out great. Cross your fingers and your toes, please. Yes, and your toes. I hope you guys enjoy watching. I really like the way it turned out. Again. And, um, yeah, let's get into it. So of course, like the first time I filmed this video, the first two minutes or so are blurry. And I apologize, but please bear with me. I promise you the rest of the video is fine. Um, I already have a base, bronze, highlighted, and all that good stuff. So we're going to be going into our Morphe 35B, and I'm going to start off with this really bright pink color right here, and work in some of this like magenta, pinky, purple kind of color. So I'm going in with that really bright pink color and my Morphe M505. Okay, so we're going to start with this kind of in our crease and a little bit above, um, just because we want that kind of smoky, blown out kind of look. Take your time blending because I feel like pink is one of those colors that it's a little bit harder to blend um, and to not necessarily to blend but to make it look not patchy like in my little inner corner area. So take your time blending um, before you keep adding more product. So just taking a clean, it doesn't look clean because I used it before, but um, it's a clean Morphe M433 to blend out the edges over here. And I like that pigmentation right where it is. I'm just going to move on to the other eye. Alright, so. I went in with the pink shade. This is the intensity that I like. I started on this eye on the outer corner with that magenta pinky purple color. I'll show you again. Um, it is right here. This one. And I'm using my more detailed brush, the M507 by Morphe, to get into that outer corner. And then we're going to kind of smoke it in. eyes after adding that magenta color I really like what it looks like so far now we're kind of just going to go over that kind of like bald spot that we left there with a lighter shade to kind of make it still look like skin but not really just so that we can blend all of that together So I'm just going to take this like flat kind of packing brush and go into the Tartlet uh, Amazonian Clay Matte Palette and just go into the color Free Spirit, this, uh, this first shade right here. Um, so I'm just going to go over that on both sides and then go back to the M433 to blend it all together. We're going to move on to our lower lash line. And this is where I added some purple because 
if you know me I don't like pink it kind of scared me to do this look at first and then I like the way it looks so I didn't mind filming it again so um we're gonna do that whole technique of creating an inner a new inner corner we're gonna just take that magenta color and the same M507 brush that we use to detail that color and we're gonna use the two colors the bright pink and the magenta to blend under our eye just so that it kind of matches the top okay so I'm gonna go in with my shader brush instead We're gonna only go about halfway, like we did our crease. Or, yeah, with the intensity, and then just slightly, slowly blend it forward. And make sure your outer corners are connected with the top and bottom. So, we're gonna go back with that flat brush, with this flat brush. And I'm going to use this very dark purple bluish kind of shade right here. And we're going to do that technique that I said. We're just going to kind of line our lower lash line at first. Like get real close to the lashes. And then we're going to make a new, kind of just go straight and make a new inner corner. I think you saw me do this in my last video or one of my last videos. So you should know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to use the edge of the brush. To do that. did my inner corner and then I went back with my shader brush and just blended where we ended off that purple pink color and you should have something like this Whew. something over here okay so I'm gonna do an inner corner highlight I'm gonna go in with smoke and whistles by Colourpop and this little brush right here. I think it's a lip brush, but that's okay. Am I going to take this one? No, I lied. I'm going to take this Real Techniques fine liner brush. And we're going to highlight just the top of that inner corner, if that makes sense. Like, right... That's a chunk. Right up here. Right up here. Just there. Yes. And then I was going to take this. Am I? Am I? I'm going to go into my Carly Bible palette and take this second shade right here that has that kind of like pinky gold look tap that out because it's a big me indeed and just tap over for our brow bone highlight I'm going to take this these two shades like that okay so I'm going to take Wisp if I can find it I'm gonna take Wisp by Colourpop and put some of that with the same brush in our on our brow bone because I think I went in tans when I did this the first time I actually think I might have used Wisp on my inner corners before and then going back with those eyeshadows right on top yes yes I want to blend it out of course now we're gonna put some I'm gonna put some mascara on and a pair of Ardell 
Studio Effect Wispies, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so I put on some lashes and I put some mascara on my bottom lashes. And now I'm going to go in with a lip color. And before, of course, I was like, I don't know, I was going to do a nude, but I was like, you know what? We already got so much pink going on. And so why not go with a bright ass pink lip, right? So I'm going to take ColourPop's Liquid Ultra Matte Lip in, it's a liquid lipstick, in Mars. It looks like this. And I'm just gonna throw it on. No liner or anything. this is the final look guys and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this look I hope you like the way that it turned out really not so bad I was like I said very scared to use pink but it kind of looks really good and I'm glad that I refilmed it well I'm glad that I liked it in the first place in the first place enough to refilm it everything you want to know will be listed down below in the description bar and um, I don't think I have anything else to say except thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Stay fierce.